Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I'm having to re-record my intro. Basically, um, when I was editing this video, it got way too long. So what I thought I was going to show you, I had to cut in half. Um, but basically, I have a bunch of stuff to show you because the last few videos I've posted have been more like around the city, travel-ish sort of things. So I think I have like at least two videos worth of other stuff now that um, I have been up to, some stuff around the house, some deliveries, um, some crafts and stuff. So I've broken it up into two and I hope that you really, really enjoy it and you can see what I've been up to. When we were away on the weekend, two packages came that my poor neighbors had to grab. So the first one is from Tuck. They are an organic bedding company from Canada. So they sent me their sheet set as well as their duvet set. And I'm really, really excited. Okay, this is their duvet. So I got the white duvet. But their sheet set, I ordered their striped one because I thought it'd be really cute when you fold down your duvet that the sheets are slightly different to just give a little more visual interest. You can see this subtle pin stripe. Let's compare them there. So I think that's going to look really, really good. Um, so we will put that together tomorrow because it's a little bit dark. Um, they also sent me extra pillowcases because we are four pillow kind of family. Um, and then they sent me something which I think is for my sister. And then Gailey also reached out and asked if they could send me something because if you were here last year, you maybe remember that there was this Gailey truck that was driving around delivering these cookie tins to everyone with ingredients to make cookies. And it was the sweetest thing ever. And we had just moved in and I was obsessed with it. And they saw that. So they said, hey, can we send you something this year? Let's see if we can get it open. There we are. So, um, they sent this little package. I took the butter out already. Um, and put it in the fridge, but it was a gaily baking baker's gold. And then they sent me this book, which I thought was so cute. And it has all of these great holiday recipes. So later this week, I think we're going to bake something. We're going to pick one of these and cook with their butter. What else have we got in here? pretty cute. I think this is just all packaging now. Yeah, so that was pretty sweet of them. So we'll have to bake something together later this week. And maybe I'll take some over to my neighbors because I'm baking it forward, but they always get my packages when we're not home, so I feel bad. Part of the Gay Lee delivery that I think I told you guys about, um, they had just, you know, said, could we send this to you? And um, we'd love for you to share your baking memory because the recipe book that they sent had um, like a recipe, like a family recipe from someone and then also a picture and like a little story. So I thought, okay, I can share mine. Um, we used to bake a ton as a kid. Um, when I was a little kid, uh, and I mean, I still do. So there's that, but, um, my granny would look after me when I was really little and I would bake a ton with her. And then we'd also bake a lot with my mom. So I guess that's why I love baking so much, but I was sharing on Instagram that my favorite recipe that we always made, um, was this cheese swirl brownie recipe. So because there's like two parts to it, I would always do the chocolate batter and my sister would do the cream cheese batter. But like the memory is so strong because we had specific bowls and like mixing utensils that were always the same. I always did the chocolate. She always did the cream cheese swirl one. Um, so I would always get the Mason Cash style um, bowl and I think the wooden spoon. So if you don't know what that is, it's like this this bowl. I mean, this is a special edition one that I got in England and my sister would have, um, the Pyrex mixing bowl, well, not mixing bowl. It was like a little measuring cup thing with a handle on it. And it was, um, glass. And I don't remember, I think she maybe had a spatula as her like mixing thing. 
And I just always remember that so vividly because the reason my mom did this recipe, not only was she like known for it because everyone always asked for it and it was delicious, um, which I will link in the description box. I posted it on my blog in 2014. So the pictures are a little rough, but it's a very good recipe. Um, but she specifically picked this so we wouldn't fight because we each had our own bowl to mix and add ingredients to. So I thought that was kind of like a cute memory um, to have. I'm working on something cool for Instagram right now, but I like to share what I'm working on with you guys because I think it's cool and I really like this company. So I worked with ComfortWorks back um, at the beginning of 2020 and their whole thing is um, that they make custom covers for sofas. They do Ikea, which is what I used before. I think they do Pottery Barn and a few other ones. Um, so I'm working with them again this year. They sent me a bunch of different fabric swatches. I picked them all. They have so many. And on the back of each of these samples, it tells you what the abrasion is. So you know if it's going to pill or not. And like this one's pretty good. It's got 40,000 cycles. Um, it tells you like the care, if it's going to work with your lifestyle. So if you've got kids or anything like that. Um, and then they custom make a sofa cover for you in four to five weeks and it looks just as good as the one that's on there right now like it has a perfect fit because it's specific to your sofa so i have the ikea finale sofa sectional so when i go into their website you can pick all the different sections so i've got a two-seater a one section a corner and then two arms so when i was ordering that's what i picked um this is the fabric i ended up going with this is my curtain fabrics you can see it matches really well and it has a linen look to it which is what I really wanted um let me see what other fabrics I was thinking of this was a shot in the dark but I thought maybe it would work for something else I think this was the one that I was considering um aside from the one I got uh I really liked this one as well this was um, just a white linen and I felt it was too dark. I do really like it and it shows up pretty nice on camera, but it just felt very, very white in my house. Um, also thought this would be nice for like maybe the bonus room, but this is for the sofa. So that is a different project altogether. But what I did when I was picking this um, is tried it out during the day. I tried it up in an area that gets more light. I tried it at nighttime. Um, and then the sofa cover comes in four to five weeks. So I just got a notification that it shipped because I had made this decision um, not too long ago, but a few weeks ago. And uh, it'll be here soon. So you guys will get to see all of that come to life. I had an eye appointment this morning, so my eyes are fully dilated and I look like a bug. So this is where it's at. <laughs> but I am doing a TikTok campaign with Tefal for their steam air fryer thing. Um, so I tested it out yesterday and made a baked brie, um, but I decided I'm gonna try it out with other things. So I just decided that I was gonna try and bake a quiche in there. So I thought I would show you this. So here's the situation. Um, this isn't gonna live right here, though it does fit very well. I think it's gonna live right below the microwave. Um, and then I can just easily pull it out, or at least that's the current thought. Um, but so like it's heating up right now. So it does grilling, air frying, steaming, and all sorts of things. And the thing is big enough that you could roast a little chicken in it. So I'm going to do Lily. Come on. We're having, we're having cat issues lately. Um, so I'm going to try and make the quiche in there. I Googled it and apparently you can do that. Um, and it's obviously quite a bit faster than using an oven. And because I didn't get to enjoy the brie yesterday because I just did it for the campaign, I'm gonna put brie in my quiche because why not? Also, I don't like making pastry. I, well, I mean, I don't mind it, but it's just time consuming. So I have been buying these frozen shells and they actually tastes pretty good I and mean, I don't mind it so it's much faster to make a quiche when you have the frozen frozen pie shells okay so when I originally used this I think I did the air fry but when I came 
I pulled it out after 10 minutes and I was like, okay, it's not really cooking the way it should. So then I switched it to this little cake button and it was done within like five, 10 minutes from then on. So that was perfect. And I should have done that from the beginning. So I don't know if anyone has one of these cause they're pretty new. Um, but this little cake button was good, but it just goes to prove that you can definitely use a steam fryer, air fryer to make a quiche. So excited. My tonic living pillows are here that I got for our little bedroom refresh. You're going to see more of this on Instagram. Um, but it's so beautiful. Let's go take these up and put them on the bed, even though it's dark out. I'm obsessed with these ones. I almost picked a different one and then I saw these and I was like, this is it. This is where, this is what we're getting. This video, which is filmed at nighttime, is not going to do these justice, but it looks so good. It's perfect. And they are actually going to do some photos for me to do a post on Instagram and on my blog about pillow sizing and what pillow sizing is best for what size bed and how it looks. Um... So I'm really excited for that. So they're going to send me those pictures soon. Um, but also, when I was doing my internship hours with Tiffany and I was at a shoot day with her and Patrick Biller, they were talking about how amazing the inserts for these pillows were. And I didn't have any at that time. Um, but they are amazing. Like, they feel quality. I mean, the fabric's amazing itself, but the pillow inserts are amazing. So, so good. I also feel like very strongly about the 24 by 24 back pillows, like having like a stripe to them. I don't know why, but I just really, really like it. Maybe a funny thing to feel strongly about. Um, but hopefully, I <laughs> these are so messy. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but the lamp that I have downstairs is actually what I'm thinking of bringing up here. And I'm hoping to get a second so we can have two of them. And then when the piece of art comes, which hopefully should be like Friday, um, this whole bedroom setup is going to be stunning. I don't think I showed you guys this, but this sweet company, Femble, they are sisters. So it's female, small business, have an art shop, an online business, um, where they create these beautiful painting so this is I believe oil you can see the texture in it and they sent this to me which was so kind of them um but I think it makes such a great gift because number one landscapes are very popular right now I love them many of us love them but it's such a good little size so you could style it in a bookcase or on the wall or really anywhere so I ordered this frame from Amazon and it's one of my favorite frames I believe it's the same one that Callie um home on harbor really likes as well I have a smaller version in the powder room right now and I really like it so I will link that for you as well as their small business and I'm gonna put this in the frame now just unwrapped this canvas in the kitchen so if you remember I got this from an antique market, um, Aberfoyle, for $5. I gave it a light sand to see if I would prefer it to be wood or gold, leaning towards gold. Um, and then because it didn't have glass, I decided to order the Etsy print I wanted on canvas. So it arrived today. I ordered it from London Drugs. Honestly, because we're in Ontario, we don't, I don't think we have London Drugs, and it took quite a while to come, but it is very good quality, and the price was the best that I found. Um... But I'm trying to decide if I want to leave the mat on it or not. So I'll show you with the mat. Um, it's kind of like a linen-y look with gold. And then here it is without the mat. I think the right call is probably to paint it gold and then decide before I uh, staple anything. Obviously, I can add it in afterwards. The price point on this was around $100. I believe this is like a banner sized canvas. Um, but like I said, because we don't have linen drugs in Ontario that I'm aware of, it did take a little while to ship. They did it in Winnipeg, I think, but it was the best price point that I found. 
The reason why I'm hesitant to leave it as wood, number one, only the top part I've sanded so far, but you can kind of see it has like a red color to it. Um, and like all of this is rough, so would I sand that down? I'm just kind of tempted to just, I don't know, make it all gold. Just really not sure though. Back to this project, I'll probably insert this clip with the other one, but it's been a, a hot minute since I was working on this. Okay, so um, I had to like take some black paint basically to this, this part, not this part, um, because it was red and you could kind of see it. And I don't, I decided I'm going to leave the matting, but I want the option that one day I could remove the matting. So basically I don't want to staple it to here. I'm going to staple it to the back so that I can always make the canvas bigger. Um, and you can see the canvas is bigger than the frame. Um, and when I was looking at this painting, this side is a little bit lighter than this side. There's a lot more darkness, if you can see. So I'd like to cut out more darkness. I'd like it to be lighter as well. It comes with some excess over the edge. So I'm going to favor having more light showing and cutting off the dark. So what I'm thinking is pulling it right up to the corner like this so that if the matting was not here that the canvas is still a good size. Um, and I'm just going to take the stapler and staple along here. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do the end and then try to pull it tight as I'm stapling. I may in fact cut the bottom now. No, I'm going to do it after. Um, and same with that. So I'm going to staple it and pull it taut as I'm going. So I stapled and pulled it tight and here it is. It's looking really good. So now I just need to trim along there and I have some fabric scissors from sewing that I'm going to use to do that, but I'm sure any scissor is fine. How good does this look though? I'm so happy with this. The only thing that I need to deal with is how to hang it because the canvas goes all the way on the back. So I'm gonna go downstairs and see if I have any tools that I could use to do that. It's looking so good. Oh no, the pillow's off center. Um, so in between fluffing the juve um, cover a bit more, I finished the art um, and hung it up and the pillows and everything looks so good together. I think that the stripe looks really good. I wish, I think I need to like steam this if I was going to take photos, but I like the subtle stripe. I'd maybe flip the covers on those two. I'm not 100%. I like this. Um, it's not long enough though. I think the whole thing's coming together and then eventually my goal is to get different um, lamps to put on the nightstands. I want to get different art to put there. I think I need two and then hang them at the same height as that. And then we'll deal with this wall. I think ideally you'd have like two dressers here. Um, and unfortunately my hem knees, <laughs> look at all the junk everywhere. Sorry guys. Um, we got back from Niagara on the Lake last night, so I haven't put things away. But um, ideally I think I'd have like a bigger dresser here and my two hem knees don't match because I didn't realize that there was like a wood grain versus just a plain white. Anyways. I think this is looking really nice. And I tried making the bed like Tiffany does it. And it looks good. So yeah, I need the new curtains. The white ones look okay, but I'm excited for what I ordered. Um, and then the nightstand lamps, which I think I'm wanting the ones from the one from downstairs. I just need a second and they're out of stock. I think that that art looks really good. I think I showed you guys when this arrived, but Ryobi reached out to me about doing an Instagram post. So if you are watching this, I would appreciate if you went and gave it some love um, because I posted it today. But this table saw I'm really excited about because I really wanted one in the summer and my dad has one, but I don't think it's portable and I didn't know anyone else with one. So this is kind of perfect. Really excited to have this for future projects. This I could have 100% used um, when I was working on that wardrobe project, when I was sanding down that wood wardrobe, and also that little table I've got in the hall. This I'm excited about because I 
I think I could probably do some pretty cool things with it and it would put a nice edge on stuff like if you're putting shelves somewhere and I guess we'll come up with some other projects for it and then this is just awesome I mean look at all these different drill bits I probably didn't need this but the fact that it's all nice and neat and tidy in there is very very exciting so can't wait to use all of these I put some of the extra ornaments from the tree upstairs because there were some extra that I just didn't put on the tree so I put them on this tree and moved some things around I didn't end up bringing the tree from upstairs down into here but really happy with that um but other than that hope you enjoyed all those random projects I don't know how many videos I'll get in before Christmas, but I am 100% going to do a uh, home for the holidays, like Christmas home tour. So I'm hoping to do that at some point this week. I loaned my best friend a bunch of my kind of serving wear and stuff like that because she was having um, people over for dinner and didn't have that sort of stuff. So I'm waiting for that to come back so I can set the table cute for my home tour and then we'll do it so I'm hoping maybe Tuesday or Wednesday um I am just working Monday morning and then I'm off the rest of the week which I'm really excited about and Chris I think his first day off is the 23rd maybe it's the 20 I don't know I'm not sure I think it's the 23rd um and then we're hosting on the 24th hopefully I think there's no way to make solid plans right now with everything constantly changing, but we're hopeful. Um, so yeah, I hope you have an amazing start to your week or Christmas break or whatever you're up to. Um, and stay tuned for a holiday home walkthrough. And if there's another video, well, I'll let you know.